We're learning more tonight about the state trooper accused of assaulting his wife. According to the Department of Public Safety, Charles Rose uh, has been with the Highway Patrol on and off for more than 40 years. Tonight he's off the job. And WIFF News Force Liz Loheis is live in our Greenville newsroom with the story tonight. Liz? Michael and Carol, Charles Rose was taken into custody last night. He is out of jail, but not home. That was part of the judge's order. The 911 call came in about 10 o'clock Thursday night. The caller told deputies his stepfather, Charles Rose, struck his mother. There was some swelling on the, the side of the uh, victim's face, um, head area, um, as well as some bleeding there. Rose was arrested and charged with criminal domestic violence. He's been employed on and off with the Highway Patrol since 1969. His most recent title was Lance Corporal, but now the 70 year old is off the job. Though Rose was released on bond, he can't go home. Rose's wife is on house arrest after being convicted in May of arson. To protect the victim, the judge has issued a no contact order. The suspect in the case cannot have any contact with the victim in the case. Um, therefore, he's not going to be able to go to the home. Deputies say they take every domestic violence call extremely seriously. For the last 17 years, South Carolina has been ranked one of the worst states in the nation for violence against women. When you see something in the news, that means that there are probably thousands of other incidents that are going on that we don't hear about. Becky Callahan is the executive director of Safe Harbor, a shelter for battered women. She is calling on all men, especially those in the position of power, to take a stand against abuse. High school principals, um, business leaders, um, law enforcement um, leaders need to stand up and say, you know, I'm not only going to say this is not okay, I'm going to do something about it. Rose was released on a $3,000 bond. A deputy say this was his first offense. Liz Lohe, WYFF News 4, live in the Greenville Newsroom.